everybody. Welcome to part two of the Interstellar Transport Game Company. Sorry, Company uh, Let's Play. I guess it's a Let's Play. I don't really calling it Let's Play, but we are playing it. So I guess I guess that's what it is. In the last episode, we got started, set up the game, got our first route going. In this game, we're gonna you know keep expanding that. The game really feels like it moves quickly. I, I gotta say though, I mean. Now, that could just be for the local systems. So you can see ships flying. Um, let's check out Luna again. Let's see the uh, what it's got going. We could set up water. It needs they, they need water and they need machinery. How much are they producing? Uh, and we can bring back raw materials. So in order to do that... Um, one issue was is gates. So we will need another gate. So we're going to lease a second gate. If you don't have enough gates, you're going to find that your ships are waiting. And that's not really good for business to have your ships waiting. And we should buy another one on Luna. I'm just not going to do that quite yet. We already have a route between Earth and the moon. So we can just add, we don't need a second route. We can add another ship to it. So we can purchase a new 909. And this time, um, we can kit it out a bit differently. So the dry climate bays is the most efficient because there's stuff for them each way. However, we know Luna, is there, let's, is there a way to uh, wipe these out so that we'll... We'll empty the cargo bays out. We know that Luna needs uh, water. We know that they provide raw materials. We know that they need machinery. And we know that uh, dry cargo will always be needed. Now, I don't know how profitable this one's going to be because... It's not fully equal on, on both sides. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and try it anyway. All right, ship is ordered. We are uh, unpaused. So to move around the map, you can use the W, A, S, and D keys. Mouse lets you do all different 3D views, zoom in with the mouse wheel, you know, normal kind of 3D stuff. Solus actually has two ships going. But they, um, so that's weird. And then at the, so a, a subsidy, wait, where did that new, where did the news go? A subsidy of 4589 per unit is being offered for machinery delivered to Luna. And, whoops, we just actually sent a... Oh, pause this, pause this. We just actually sent, created a new ship that does machinery. So that should help us out. Now, this is interesting. There's a rocket being sent... So Spar001, they sent it's a Sparrow rocket. Solus sent it to send machinery to Mars. Interesting. I haven't thought of doing that yet. Is the machinery that expensive? I mean, it's market price is three hundred nine. Reputation added to that, so it's three fifty nine. Per, is there a sub? There's no subsidy for that. So if I'm right, if I if I understand this correctly, um, let's make that three sixty times five fifteen hundred. I mean that'll only get you. That should only be fifteen hundred credits or dollar. Let's just call it dollars. And if we look at ships. A Sparrow Rocket is 935. It's one time use. I don't know. That seems 
that it doesn't seem like much of a profit. But, you know, we're going to do that. So we're going to buy the second gate right now. That's the only, there's, there's no more gates available. Someone's going to have to upgrade the starport in order to create some gates. All right, so let's create a new route. And we want to add a stop over at Earth, since that's where we're starting from. Add a stop to Mars. And let's add a new ship. <clears throat> so we'll do a sparrow. And what they were doing was... Is, out, is there a way to clear this? There we go. That X button clears it. So what they were doing was machinery. So they were sending five machinery. Force rocket not to be reordered. So we could just keep sending rockets with machinery. Interesting. All right, we'll just go with defaults. That's kind of cool, though. Can we check out this rocket? NASA built a small maintenance shed on Luna. So, yeah, they're, they're just sending rockets over with... Oh, now that one has passengers. Interesting. And there is our rockets. And then here we go. We have a colonization ship going to Ganymede. Ganymede. Where the heck is Ganymede? Is that a moon? It's 4.375 astronomical units away. So I think that's a moon, right? Yeah, there it is. Io, Europa, Ganymede. So it looks like there's going to be a new colony opening up on Ganymede. So they, that's a opportunity for us and we are having gate issues on Luna so let's take a look at Luna right now we only we only have the one gate but that's fine we can take a look let's take a look at our routes So we have our first ship. This was our initial one. It's making some money for us, for sure. The second ship is made about five five thousand nine hundred, and we have our rocket going. And then you can see more details about how the machinery is working, about ship profit, ship cargo space used. I mean, we're not fully using the cargo. That could be a problem, but. We are making money off of it, so that is a plus. Our Sparrow rocket, our, our Sparrow rocket hasn't reached yet, so let's take a quick look at where that is. See, they're lo they're launching rockets too. Solus is launching a bunch of rockets. I don't see our rocket. Did our rocket land? Yep, I guess it did. We are making some good money, though. Let's pause it and kind of take a look at Mars real quick. They still need a bunch of machinery, but they don't have much to offer. So that's kind of the reason to use a rocket right there, is there's, there's no reason to bring stuff back yet. So we're, uh, we're using rockets for now. Uh, let's see if our... I'm surprised you, you can definitely learn how to play by watching the AI. So this, um, I mean, they're, they're launching a bunch of rockets. Like I wasn't considering that many rockets. Let's see. Where is our routes? Let's go to routes. Earth, Mars. So it didn't it didn't seem to make a new a new sparrow. I thought it would have. Four 
force this force this rocker to not be reordered maybe I, I think I need to I'm missing a setting probably let's see where we got okay now reordering is enabled so let's see is did I order it we'll see routes earth mars I think I have to order it again so we'll order that ship and let's take a look at what else Mars needed so Mars needed we could send I don't think we can send water but we can send food there's my rocket so let's go to our route routes Mars purchase new ship sparrow rocket clear it out add that in order ship okay so look at all these rockets heading to Mars though to help with the development so as we as uh, ships um, you know a as it's supplied we'll start to see more development so you really that's one thing I like about it is you really have a play a big role in developing the universe around you let's see if we, how close can we get to these rockets it's hard to get to them all right that does it for episode two of this so far I mean it's a pretty cool game we're, we're still just getting into it uh, we're, we're running behind as you can see they're already doing rockets to Ganymede so we're going to take care of that in the next episode thanks for watching